Okay, hey gang. Um, just a quick video here. Again, I'm shooting on my phone, so I apologize. But working on a Gottlieb uh, Stargate. And I put a color DMD in the Stargate. So one of the things that you have to do when you've got um, the those this is the Stargate Plexi panel, panel comes with a, a red coating on it. It almost looks like a red overlay for the DMD. But really what that is is a is paint and you can see this is a uh, panel stargate panel that's been touched up by a lot of paint it looks pretty good but it's been had a lot of touch up work because there's flaked scratches and stuff on it but looks good but uh got to get that panel clear well this was um fellow pin cider uh nerb flong i believe was his name he did this to a stargate a while back and i bothered him about it he's like i don't remember what the stripper was but he ended up finding a picture of it because um, I wanted to find out what would work. So as you can see, I've already done some work to this thing and stripped some of this off. I'll show it to you here in a second. But this is just citrus strip, and it's just a safe stripping gel. And I got this at Menards or Walmart or something like that. It's, it's I've used this to strip uh, cabinets as well. Well, I'm redoing cabinets, but this stuff seemed to work pretty good, and it doesn't take very much. I think I've I had this on there for around 10 seconds, not even that, to get that off. It goes really fast. Um, you can see what I did to mask this. And here it is right here. This is Frisket. It's some of the best stuff you can get. I've got a big roll of it. You can get it on Amazon, but it's called Frisket. And you can see I put a bunch up here, but I just covered all this here so I wouldn't strip any of this paint. Frisket's great. The painters use it. And it allows you to, uh, it doesn't allow anything to get underneath it, which I really like. So so let's, uh, let me get some of this on a rag and I'll show you here in a second uh, what this does. Okay, so you can see I took the citrus strip and I just put a little bit here, a dab on my rag. So now I'm going to apply it to the painted portion here. And as you can see, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put it on a circular motion kind of over the line of where I've been already. And we'll just let that sit. You can see here's what it does. Oh, I still got a little bit on there, so we'll get some of that over here and over here. We'll get, put it on there. I usually just count it to 10 or so. Um, and so what I'm going to do, whoops. I'll take a crappy end of this rag. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. I'm shooting this with my phone. I just wanted to be able to show you guys what this sh should do and look like. Is okay. Now it's been on there for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and 10 seconds or so, and I'm going to go ahead and remove it. So it just cakes on your rag. You're, it, this rag's ruined, right? You're not going to, don't use anything that you're going to really want to keep. But, uh, and so as you can see, it doesn't take much to come off. So once you get all of it off, what I'll do is I'll take a novice and clean it really good. I might go over it one more time with the stripper just in case there's some residue. You can see there's a few spots and scratches and stuff that are pink. I'll go over that. But it doesn't take very much, right? It comes off pretty quick. So now I'll be able to finish this quick and and get this thing finished. Put it back on my Stargate. So I just wanted to show that to you. Again, thanks to Nerb Flong for suggesting this. It was a good idea and it works good. So I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Okay, gang. Here's just a quick look at it when it's finished. There's a little red on the top side there on the border, but I just didn't want to get too close there. It's really hard to judge, and you won't be able to see it when the LCD's on there, but it's clear as a it's clear as day. So uh, there you go. Good, great results. Thanks.